This morning, I completely disassembled everything. I took the wheels off, there was the four axles and all the pillow blocks. Took the little nails out, won't be using those anymore. And then I fastened the two rails together side by side and passed the top edge over the jointer so that I got the top nice and flat and perfectly parallel. Then I put it back together, as you can see here. And the top is parallel and square. And the reason being is I'm going to be wanting to take measurements later. And I want it to be perfect. Now the reason that I'm swapping out the nails for elastic bands is because I think they'll do a much better job of allowing me to micro adjust everything. I'll be able to slide the pillow blocks back and forth and get them just right. Not only that, the elastic bands will hold the pillow blocks down and not let them jump up. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, a couple of days ago when I was uh, you know, running the machine sort of in a makeshift manner, uh, the pillow blocks were jumping up and down while well, they shouldn't have been doing that. Right now, the lower bearing, you might say, is in the sweet spot for when the balance wheel has driven the fork to this position. However, when it comes out, even though the top bearing will just miss the, uh, you know, this, this part right here, it just misses it. It doesn't go in f quite far enough. Now what if this piece right here, we, we, we call it a finger. This will be the arm, this will be the finger. What if the finger was a little bit more this way and a little bit more down? What if it was adjustable? And I think that's the way to go here. I'm not going to cut these down. You know, I was going to I was going to shorten the length from from right here to right here by slicing off about a sixteenth of an inch. That would only partially solve my problem. I also have the problem of this bearing has to be further in, so I'm going to see if I can't just make an adjustable arm here. I'm going to check, the, uh, check it out on the computer and just see how hard that would be. Now I, I realize it's going to add to the mass here and it's going to be heavier and it's going to be out of balance but that's what those counterweights were for. They can be adjusted. There is probably a really good reason why this isn't going to work, but at the moment I can't see what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and make this change.
Keep your eye on that little piece and notice what happens when I lift the blade up when I'm through making the cut. Now you know why I wait for the blade to come to a complete stop before I raise it. Now I'm going to just eyeball this. It might be a mistake, but I, I think I can probably get it pretty close. Now for this one I'm going to use a bit that's just a little bit smaller than the diameter of the threads of this. Because this probably would split if I wasn't, uh, if the hole was too small. Yeah, that should be good. Now I was all ready to put this thing together and then I realized I got to make a larger hole in this one as well. Now we're ready. Okay, now that does not have to be a tight fit. Okay. Oh. I'll try it on this side first, and if it's awkward, then I'll switch it around and put it on this side, but we'll just see what happens here now. Put my drill into low gear here. I don't want things going too fast. By rights, I should probably be doing this by hand. Okay. I didn't go all the way, by the way. Okay, I'll do the rest. 
by hand later. Okay, so now this should go in here. And this one should go in here. Now I'll use CA glue to tighten these in later. And I'll also use CA glue on the wood there to sort of beef everything up a bit. But the idea is that this sort of articulates, you know what I mean? I can move it pretty much in any direction I need to go and then tighten this down. And then when I do the final assembly in the real thing, then what I'll do is I'll put a couple of drops of CA thin at the joints and just let it soak in. And that'll be, I think, fairly strong. Well, I'm gonna try this out and see if it's gonna work. But that's gonna have to be tomorrow. <laughs>